Okay. I guess I'm not breaking the glamour out here. <laughs> did they, did he miss a spot inside or something? Or maybe I start the glamour breaking from another bad delivery. This area. Oh, all right. To face the fear of death, we distract ourselves. You'll be playing the Dead Space Jones. remake, of course. We believe when, it, when I get access to it. Lend us strength and harden our resolve. We assume that these rules and traditions are what keep us moving forward and will eventually lead us to greatness. But they do the exact opposite. They reinforce the hierarchy and the powers that be. The sobering truth is, the system doesn't respect ambition. Everything's designed to keep us in our place. I see that now. I see I was bound by the rules others imposed on me. And I now realize if I am to achieve anything, I must break free. When? What in the fuck are you talking about? Break free into yet an even worse system of hierarchy and the powers that be? Are you serious? Like, in every single or the vast majority of anything dealing with vampires, there's like drastically more powerful vampires that control like fucking everything. And when it gets to like the extent that the vampires are integrated into society in a way, they usually control the fucking world as like a shadow government. And you know, it's like I was saying before, it's one thing, or maybe I was talking about something else at a different time, but it's one thing in the world that we have like old fucks that control a lot of things and they take a long ass regular human lifetime to fucking die. But imagine an, a, a thousand year old shit that also legitimately has like grows more powerful over time and could like probably punch a hole in, into a city. Well, right? Like that's how the vampire power scaling system sometimes work. It's like, oh, I've been around for 2000 years and I have I have had the unicorn blood. I sneeze and New York implodes. <laughs> You know, I don't think they go that far here, because we're beating the shit out of highborn vampires pretty, pretty often. Um, but no, the vampire system is worse, and then you're like compelled- in this game, in this game, like... <laughs> if the vampire system was better, we'd be on the vampire side, trying to stop crazy humans doing things. Just saying. Anyone in here? No, not gonna let me up right now. Okay. Yeah. Another one of your glamour tricks. Hey, <laughs> Dad, Dad, your glamour's already falling apart. <laughs> you know, you might want to fix that. This new world needs the strong to guide the weak. We can still walk this road together. Yeah, you just need to like forfeit. Not really being a vampire, but just like being a blood-sucking vampire, killing human beings. At least human beings without their consent, you know? I'm sure we could get a blood bank thing going for like the respectable vampires in life. Since we left Chester alive, I'm a little bit more, or you know, Chester alive for a second time. I'm a little bit more inclined to believe that they might be willing to let some vampires survive. Uh, okay, I, I, I get what's going on here. <laughs> I'm just like exploring for the sake of finding like potential loot. But all of this shit that I'm currently exploring is where the glamour stuff is going to be anyways. And probably some fights. Uh, nope, wait, hold on. How do I get over there in the first place? Okay, I dropped down, so I did have to do a little bit of exploration, gotcha. Uh, I think I saw the entrance from over here. This 
This is how we leave our mark on the face of the world. Uh, you already have left your mark on the world. You created the Renier Institute. Vampire fighting organization making fucking electric gauntlets in the early 1900s slash late 1800s? That's pretty crazy. Now, obviously, he doesn't know how different his world is from, like, the normal Without reality. Gauntlet, you're nothing but a man. Fragile. Human. Oh! Oh, fuck! Wait! Oh, I got bamboozled! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I, I might have left some stuff behind. I just assumed that would work like all the other glamour shit. I hope I didn't miss anything, because I just started assuming... We would go on a little adventure to punch, like, destroy the rest of the glamour. Huh. Now I'm just... confused. <laughs> uh... So, like, is that a normal train station? But, like... Glamorized? Well, there they are. Children of the night. I'm just not sure... Who the fuck spent the time to build this? At least with the giant temple... That was hidden inside, like, the caves, and, like, mines and stuff. You could go, ah, yes, an ancient civilization built that. But this? <laughs> Modern America? That's, that's a big fucking building. That ends up just being hidden behind a wall. But surely this was here... B before the glamour. Because otherwise that would have been a stronger glamour. Ah... Uh. The glamour shit's confusing. To my son, Jesse. I know I wasn't a good father. I was too busy trying to save the world to make time for you. That made you feel like I didn't care. That you weren't good enough. The truth is, it was me who wasn't good enough. I failed everyone. After all I'd done, after all the death and mayhem, Innocents were still being murdered. I couldn't put an end to it. Evil walked among us, and I couldn't even protect our own home. The truth is, I always hoped you'd achieve more than me. That one day, you'd be able to take great pride in your accomplishments. You still have time. I don't. My time is done. I hope you understand why I decided to make the choices I did. To new beginnings. All right, thank, thanks, sane dad. Okay, I missed, I missed some things here. <laughs> How many notes have I not gotten? Wait, wait, what? I had, I had all of the notes. Wait, that can't be right. Oh. Okay, so that's what happened. These usually most of the numbered letters that I've seen have been like all within the same chapter when they're numbered. But the William Rennier letter actually started back here. And then continues on to instead talk about his son? That's... that's weird. <laughs> that's weird. I think somebody fucked up with the numbering on this. Like, these are actually not supposed to be connected at all, I think. There's just... this is a William rent to your letter to the people at that lightning facility. And this one's just William rent to your letter to... to to Jesse. And then I must have missed some other writing 
in the previous level? Uh, or we just haven't encountered it yet? I'm, I don't know. Uh, to prove a point, <laughs> probably. And also because now you have a vampire on the brain. Need any augmentations that imitate power? Ooh. Ooh. I don't think I'm supposed to really walk back here, but okay. I don't know. I feel like. Combining vampire powers with the gauntlet would actually be, like, overpowered. That'd be cool. There is no weakness on this side. Join us. But you probably have, like, full loyalty to Felicity. We can and she wants to exterminate humans. Elite. So... Nah, I'm sorry, Dad. I don't wanna I don't wanna join that side. I will not let you go into the unknown alone. You can you can talk all you want, Dad, but I I know what must be done. Unless uh, All we have to do is let her in. She makes us strong. Oh god, there you go! There is no us! Uh, it's beautiful. This is the final frontier. A final choice. Forget gauntlets and cheap electrical tricks. All that truly stands between us and godhood is a drop of blood. And the sun. Is that the same choice you gave to Virgil? Virgil didn't matter. He has no place in the future. Wow. Think of what you could achieve with the power we've been handed. You are worth more than any of them! I cannot apologize for progress. You adapt, or you die. I've heard those words before. She's in your head. Enough of your petulance! I am your father! If you will come willingly, I will make you! Uh... No. I don't... I don't, I don't want that at all, thank you very much. Why does this feel like this is the last level and we're gonna have, like, a sequel bait to fight Felicity? That would be fucked up, right? Oh! oh. <laughs> Ow! Alright. Good to know. Can't block that projectile. Oh shit! This is the last chance to see. I think <laughs> I didn't know if that was gonna end up doing anything to me. Jesus, I, can I shoot him like that? That that's weird. I might just have to dodge that. Do so. I you okay, so I shoot that, I dodge the other one. And then, oh, and then he comes in for a melee. Let's see what you've learned. You see how fast such a cult? Block! Oh, shit, okay, and then he falls up to that. Dodge. This is your last Dodge again. Oh, 
fuck! Supercharged chance at all. What? <laughs> oh, we're changing it up. Okay. Uh, we didn't. I, was there supposed to be a cutscene or something? That was such an awkward transition. Alright, he does a bunch of leech shit that we have to fucking gorge! Oh! Jesus! That was uh, a much bigger attack! Ah, damn it, he teleported out of it. Oh, that's what I was afraid of about this thing! Alright, I have to imagine there's probably a third phase. Let's see what you've learned. But we'll see. This is unbelievable! Oh, wowie! I guess I could have canceled that. Third phase! Oh, God, okay. Yeah, I fucked that up. I tried to pull out my flamethrower. Well, this is a problem. Oh, fuck. Oh, thank God. I died if I do so much damage! We could have achieved great things, son. That's not an apology. But then you died. to find her. Carmine, we'll stop her before she reaches DC. Mm -hmm. I taught you well after all. You just pray it was enough. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, at least he was evil to the end. Probably would have hesitated more if he wasn't. The heist. While putting his father out of misery, Jesse learns about someone, someone, someone. What's it say, Mr. Gravener? William Rentier is dead, kid. Oh. 
Jesse needs us in Carmine. Looks like we're robbing a bank. Fire up the airship, Blue. Well, technically, sir, it's a lighter-than-air vessel that... Wait, what about Mr. Harrow? Won't it be upset that we've stolen his government-issued vehicle? Harrow can suck my... Fat dick? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> kid. <laughs> <laughs> Bloom's learning! At least we are getting sequel baited in that last level. The speech that dad was given was like, you can't stop her. <laughs> and then we kill her and then or kill him and then he's like, no, never, ever reach her. Oh, shit. Why don't you come on over here and give me a little bit of electricity, friend? It's horse shit! He is a regular human being! What do you mean I can't just shoot him dead? Well, it was straight ahead. Go back. Of course not. Huh. All right, we move on. Woo. Wait, what if I want to go over there? Maybe it's not okay. Maybe it's not an option. Okay. I do collectible wise last time. Okay, we got all the chests, most of the money. That's useful. Oh, oh no, big ones. Huh. Maybe I could slip around past them. Ha! That's cute, Jesse. Oh, Mary! Uh, burn. Bear to the king, baby. All right. Level 18. Okay. Um, well, oh, I can, I, fucking, I keep forgetting, dude, I put all these points into this shit, and I keep forgetting the abilities I grabbed. I would have been, at this point, I would have been better off just having all of this. Hmm. Well, I heck, I got punch the punch. So maybe this would be a better attack for me. Twenty five percent damage against uh, juggled enemies. So the combo I need to remember is uh... now what? A fucking train? No, he's more like a rail cart. No, yeah, combo I need to remember: pull enemies towards me and then uppercut. Uh. <laughs> Press the wrong buttons! Ugh. Ow! Stop 
blocking all of the wrong person! Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Oh my Christ almighty of how things have functioned so far in this game. Usually, when a weak point shows up, if you aim at the target, the, the game locks on to that target, especially if it's a weak point. Now, I can forgive the game for getting things mixed up when there's a bunch of enemies next to each other. But when I am fucking clearly aiming at the fucking guy, and it's not even locking on to him, and then he's gonna sit there and do an attack that I can't fucking do anything about. Like, what the fuck is that shit? Let's end this! It's not even like it's a fucking vampire! Jesus! Hi, hi, hi! Alright, what's the electric upgrade for the Gatling gun? Death Ray. Sounds interesting. The Gatling gun, or the Gatling, shoots with energy arcs that deal higher damage and can make enemies explode. Neat. It's also expensive as fuck, holy shit. Well, if I ever struggled with killing normal enemies and needed to clear out, like, 20, 20 common enemies over and over and over again, that would be, that would be the play. Death Ray and Cocoon. That would be sweet. Oh, I forgot I got rid of Free Bullet. Yeah, we can get that back. Okay. I'll take that. Can I have some regular enemies in here now? Ah. There's a couple of, uh, they're not commons.
Hmm. That's not nice. Oh my. We haven't tried it yet until that moment right there, but yeah, it looks like uh, You can't use the supercharge with three Supercharge with three energy if you upgrade it to the the next level, which is unfortunate. I I accept I accept the loss, but I feel like that should be put in more clear wording in the perks. <laughs> you know, it should be like where is it? Where the fuck? This shit right here should say, warning, <laughs> upgrading to this no longer allows you to use supercharge mode with three batteries. And that would have been fine. Hopefully, hopefully they add that in at some point for some future player. Okay, I, 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 what am I, what am I missing here? Oh, it's okay. I tried to do touchdown. Hit an enemy, uh, attack an enemy, lifting them up and smashing them to the ground, causing a massive explosion. Uses two battery. Did not work. And then we do have slam the fam. But I guess that's more for common enemies. I don't know. I mean, obviously, like, <laughs> uh, common enemies being, for when I'm saying common enemies, any enemy that you can, like, stun lock with fucking lightning. Seems like a common enemy to me. But there are kind of enemies that are in between. Where, like, you can grab them, like the wolves or, like, the, the vampire gunner guys. But they're still like tougher targets and you can't like full raise them up okay. in the air as much as other things. Although I guess I just did with the vampire I don't know, it's fucking weird. <sighs> Alright. Am I gonna get shot at again? I'll fucking shoot him.
additional damage comes in. Guess who has super mode? Oh wait, that fucking this what the fuck was that? Were you powering up your friend? Healing him? I don't even fucking know. I almost wanna see, but not that badly. I haven't seen that. Like, the specific animation? <laughs> I didn't notice I fucking put my... Like, a... Cross on their face and, like, blasted into the... Cool. Also, thank fuck. These guys, like, actually died. After a couple of times shooting them. I wonder if that would have happened in the alleyway? It didn't... Feel like it. Look at this fucker. He's just there! <laughs> He's chilling out! We, we just forgot about the machine gunner that we placed there. He can't turn it around, so he doesn't even bother. He's like, those noises behind me? Gonna ignore them. 